Real 92.3, Big Boys Neighborhood. What up? We are in studio right now with Famous Dex. What up? Uh, Dexter. Hey. Dexter. <laughs> yeah. Me, Dexter. What's going on, man? I mean, I just woke up. I mean, I'm feeling good. God is good for once. Okay. Mm-hmm. God is very good. I like that. I mean, I'm just having fun, you know? Waiting for this album to drop. What, oh. and which is? What, is it still that same date? No, we kind of changed the dates. Don't be mad at me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the new date? Yeah. It's April 6th. April 6th. Okay, okay. we're going to write it's, that down. It's, it's a special day. Why? Um, It's, it's my little sister's birthday. Aww. What's oh, your little sister's name? I didn't see her. I lost her to breast cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. So it's a, it's a special day. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's cool. You know, they say patient is a, it's it's a virtue. It's a virtue. It's yeah. a key success, so. I mean, everything is good. Does it get hard sometimes when you when you want to put it out so much and you just want everyone to hear it, but there are certain things that have to that get in the way nope. of it? I just <laughs> no, nope, I just drop drop videos. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping some videos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it. Well, famous decks. Uh, we're this is you know this is the first time that we're having you at least in our studio. Yes. But you Welcome. got this great big fan base. And what was it that really drew you into music? I mean, you know, you you is you hang around. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I almost caught up in a Chicago drill. Mm, almost in the same. middle of that. And so, I thank God. I kind of I saw my my guys wasn't getting on from that. Mm-hmm. Wasn't getting on from beefing. Mm-hmm. Dirt and them get on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I had to change it. I see why, 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 I got to do something. Almost always they background like a like little dancer with his energy. So I'm like, man, I got energy. What the fuck? <laughs> so I, I, I made a song. God is so good. I made a song, whatever. And I just took it my own route. And how's it been since then? It's been good. It's been a blessing to take care of my family. Did you ever see it getting to this point? I mean, not not in music, but I always knew I was gonna be a star. Mm-hmm. Like in some, I always believed myself a star because I had so much talent and so much to give to the world. Well, you've been doing this for so long already, putting out so much music. But was there ever a time when you weren't doing music and you were having to like have a side job or something? I was just playing ball. Okay. I was playing ball. I was hustling. I was, you know, I was, I'm from Chicago. Yeah. I was hustling. I was, I was in the streets. I think I ain't got to do that no more. Yeah. Mm. For that. You know, God is very good. But I was hustling. I was, I had to get some type of chips. <laughs> 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 so there was never like a afternoon job at like Subway. Nope. It was never no afternoon job. Because I, I started getting tattoos. Yeah. So I regret mostly getting all the tattoos on my face. Oh, wow. Everywhere. Really? But yeah, it wasn't no job. It wasn't no job. None of that. You know, it was always mom, mommy, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the handout. The handout. <laughs> and to the to the point, like it was like like forget it. The screech had like kind of got me. And you know, when the screech gets you, it's like mm. ah. Yeah. And but I think I ain't got doing no more. It's just it's, we we here now. That's good. <laughs> Why do you regret the tattoos on your face? Because I I, I want like. I regret a lot. For once, I want to do a lot. I want to do movies. Okay. I want to do a lot of movies. I want to do a lot of commercials and mm-hmm. all this shit. And that, that should kind of affect your, your little image. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you considered maybe having them um, removed by a laser? I'm scared of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be painful. I saw I saw soldier in that shit. Like, did, did, did. I'm like, oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Is there one, though, that you, if, like, let's say it wasn't painful, you were going to go get them taken off. Is there one that you would say, actually, leave that one on? On my face? Uh, anywhere. Um. Yeah. Which ones? It's the mama's boy on my chest. Oh, <laughs> see that one's that one's got to stay. Yeah, so that's got meaning towards I'm, I'm, I'm it. I'm mama's boy. Big boys Big neighborhood boy. in studio right now with famous Dex having a good time. Oh uh, yeah, oh what? I know when I say that. That uh, yeah, oh what? Uh, yeah, oh what? Yeah, yeah. Did I do it right? Yeah, it's I like, need the like phonetic like, spelling of it. It's like oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, uh, oh what? Oh what? Oh yeah, oh what? Oh uh, yeah, oh what? We tried, we tried. Yeah, we, we got this, we got they this. They killed that shit first. Uh, all Japan. right, tell me about Japan. Oh, Japan. Hmm. Look, look at him. You yeah, better, you better record this. Speak, speaking of Japan, like, I just, I woke up early this morning. Mm-hmm. My whole label was telling me, like, yo, we going to Japan Wednesday. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's so awesome. So, Pack it up. It's like, 
I, I did this little interview. I'm um I'm still thinking about going to Japan. I think you should. You know, I but I got I got to see my kids if I leave. So yeah, you, so you are a dad. You have three kids. Yeah, I have three kids. How, what's it like being a dad? It's it's fun because I come from a family. Yeah. So. What's their ages? They um one on one. Aww. One on two. Mm-hmm. One on three. Well, you oh, one, right two, in. and three. Boom, boom, boom. You don't even need to say their names. <laughs> Be like close. one, two, three. Get over here. <laughs> baby J, baby Dex, and baby T. How cute. Aww. Yeah. What What was it like that first moment when you found out you were gonna be a dad? My first time. When I was a dad, I was 20 years old. I'm 24. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't I wasn't having sex at 15, 16. <laughs> <laughs> but I had my first um, daughter when I was 20. I love her so much. It was cool. It's like when, once I had my daughter, it was like it was no more about me. Mm-hmm. It was all about them. And the hustle all, was different after exactly, that. that. Exactly. So that's why I really thank God for this music shit, because I really can take care of him how I want to take care of him. Do you play your music for them sometimes? They bop around to no, it? No, do they? No, her mom. No. Uh, next the lyrics? Uh, next, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my daughter knows she, I get to drift my wall. Ooh, hey. I get to drift my wall. I say, baby, I get to drift my wall. I say, I get to drift my wall. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, let me do the lyrics. And her little sister just be doing anything she's doing. She just be like, oh, oh my God, so that's cute. so cute. That's do you, cool. When I you're making them. music, do you think of them? Yeah, I think of them. They, they energy is just like mine. Mm-hmm. They, I look at when I look at them, I look at just me all over again. Like my son, he don't. When I'm there, he don't sleep. Oh, he just talks and turn and have fun. He he ate once. He be one in June. It's crazy. Do you ever get the chance to like bring them with you when you go traveling, or is it Not one of those yet. things where you, you when you have to go, you have to go, and then you come back? For me, like, um. Not yet because I'm not I'm not as big as okay. I, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. When God bless me to be here, I want to be yeah. to have a Jess and all that. And then they go come everywhere. They're gonna live the life. Oh, it's gonna be yeah, awesome. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They're gonna be all on stage, <laughs> rocking out with you. Oh, <laughs> with the Still little in the show. They gonna love it too. <laughs> the fans gonna love it. All right, but tell me about the track that is dropping this week, Japan. Okay, okay, Japan. One thing about Japan, see, everybody knew about Dexter taking mm-hmm. his clothes off at the shows and mm-hmm. all this. This is Japan is all about the ladies. Uh-oh. So when y'all hear this, y'all definitely gonna look at y'all. Okay, y'all gonna look at y'all thing. Make sure y'all make up all right. Okay. And then just let y'all hear breeze while while the car going. You know. Okay. It's a nice song because it's, a, it's a, a beautiful song. Do you have a favorite song that you've ever made? Like no matter what, you still go back to it and be like that one for some reason just sticks with me. Yeah, I do. Which one? It's crazy. You ask me which one. <laughs> yeah, I do. Hold on. <laughs> it's there, I swear. Oh, uh, it, it gotta be um, never seen it coming. Okay, why? Because it it was like one. It was a deeply, deeply song. Mm-hmm. And this is way before the come up. Mm-hmm. And it's called I Never Seen It Coming. And everything I said, everything I said in that song, it really came towards this. Do you believe right in that, like, universe. sort of, yeah, do you believe in, the, you know, if you say it and speak it out into the universe, you can manifest it, you can make it come true? Hell yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What else have you put out into the universe that has come true for sure? Um, I put, I put a lot about me having a son. Because <laughs> <laughs> you had a girl, because you had two girls first? Yeah, I, mean, I put a lot, I put out a lot in one song about me having a son, and, like, next month, we, per- we found out I'm having a son. That was crazy. Man. Asking you shall receive. <laughs> Practice making babies and you're going to get them. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, Pick It Up with ASAP Rocky. How did that come together? Oh, shout out to ASAP Rocky. That's my brother. He's a great guy. He's an awesome guy. Mm-hmm. We, we had that song, Pick It Up, for like, um, how long did I pick it up? For like five, six months. I always say this is my, about my label. I, I had I'm like, man, F this song. Mm-hmm. I hate this song. <laughs> did you really? No, bro. What? Listen, it's baby, so listen. good. I hate this song. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this song. I heard Ace I Rock order V long. Ooh, call up orange mingo. I say what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, yo, yo. We dropping that song. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> the name. So shout out to Ace Rock. It was a great song. You know what I'm saying? Then doing the video with him, he's so creative and he's so yeah. he's so different and he's so smart and he teach teaches me like. Not even me. He teaches the 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 wave, the young the young youth about you can go get it. You can mm-hmm. be who you can. Just stay yourself. 
What's the the chemistry like between you guys? Is it like a big brother, little brother? Yeah, it's it? a it's a big it's a big brother, little brother thing every time. You know what I'm saying? It's always a big brother, little brother thing. You know, I've been just almost always inspired by Rocky. Mm -hmm. You know, Rocky was because he's always different. And I'm from Chicago. He like from New York. Yeah. And it's like you know, so it was always cool. But me linking up with him. I just want to say thank you. For That's everything. dope. That's cool. Speaking that you are from Chicago, what are some of the hardships in the streets of Chicago that you feel like a lot of people truly don't understand or get to to see? I mean, in Chicago, we, we don't come along with each other. We don't help each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you see Atlanta, everybody, you got everybody helping you and rapping with each other. Doing. Chicago is so messed up. We don't come, we ain't coming with each other. We ain't really doing music with each other. We don't like each other. We hate on each other. It's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? What do you think are like some of the ways that that can um, get better? Because it, for voices like Chance, mm -hmm. voices like Kanye, mm -hmm. Common, them voices, if they if they can, can talk and speak about this shit like I can, because I, I know I'm the generation, I'm a wave of the Chicago right now. Mm -hmm. Free my boy Herb, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a lot going on. If they can really just, can, can just like sit down and talk about that and really... Have boys and girls club. Put boys and girls clubs out for all us and all that, and do all that. Chicago probably be a better place. Make put a song. Get just get chance a song with ninety open like eight open verses. Just put everybody from Chicago on there, and just call it a song. Really like real Chicago. You know, mm. we just don't help each other. That's right. why, and that's why I'm always out. Like shh, 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 out. It's on your own trying to exactly. get it. I go home, I know they treat me like a king, they love me. I'm always in Chicago, I'm always at the crib. But it's so much hate going on there, just you don't want to be there, right. you know? Can you also be that guy, though, too, that once mm -hmm. you get to a point, you turn around, you put that hand out? Yes, I will. And, and you know, God got God will put me in a position to do that mm -hmm. because there ain't too many people that, that ain't did what I just said. Right. That's true. So I know God will put me in a position to do that. And I feel like God has already put you in that position, you know, when you had your incident and when you went to the hospital and you had told your fans that you stopped doing lean, yeah, I stopped, have, yes. have you stopped that completely? I stopped that completely. I've been I've been lean clean daily almost four months. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, for once it was, it was fucking them all. It just it was just fucking me up. You know, I'm young, 24. I got kids, I love and all that. So I just want to tell my whole youth that listen to me anyway, like. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. Just stop putting shit that you don't want in your body because it's really killing us, you know? Mm. And they say we die young because we living fast. That's why all us young niggas dying young. I'm sorry not say niggas, but all us young guys dying young because we living so fast, you know? No, it's true. How do you feel now compared to what you were four months ago? I feel more mature. I feel more level-headed, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Being around Rich, shout out to Rich. I love him so much. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? My team, I'll be around my 300 team, everybody, you know. Like I said, you as you hang around. You know, you ladies, y'all be around each other, and y'all just think about ball stuff. What's mm -hmm. y'all next boss one? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, this is my first interview that I'm actually confident and just can talk. And oh, I'm stuttering. Oh, I just feel so good, I promise you. But, yeah, that's what it is, though, you know. just I just want to stay consistent and just... Bring fun and hip hop. And your fans have shown you a lot of support when it comes to that. I've seen a lot of the comments of people just supporting it and also saying that they're like, almost like, I don't know if the word really is excited, but they were like excited to see you because mm -hmm. I feel like you actually come out even more now. Yeah. Like I your do. personality. I do. And I treat my fan. And one thing about me, they, I treat my fans like family. Mm -hmm. That's what I ask for. When, like, when people run up on me, oh, let me get a picture, let me get a picture. And my, my, my security be like, yo, yo. I be like, get back. They, they good. This, 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 what I, <laughs> this is what I asked for. So it's kind of cool. You said you got some great fans. They've been showing you Big a lot of boy. love and support. There it is. <laughs> what, have you ever had like a crazy fan experience? Yes, I did. I Please swear. Tell. I had a crazy fan. I had a crazy. <laughs> this girl, man. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> what she do? Like, bro. So if I take a, if I, if I take a picture by y'all building. Mm -hmm. She definitely will come to y'all building, bro. No, she will find I, out what building bro, we're at. I swear, bro. Like she came to my hotel like three, four times. So I come downstairs, say, I'm like, hello. They called me. I'm like, do you have a girl named Amelia down here? <laughs> said, I said, Amelia. Like, I said, no, put on the phone. She said, yeah, it's Amelia, your girl. She from oh. Russia. 
Russia. Russia. Oh, man, I say. Get your foreign chain. Man, I say, listen. <laughs> if you don't get out here before I call a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Mrs. Man, listen, they got something for you, baby. All that stalking, they got something for you. The jail. <laughs> <laughs> How many but times she did still, she showed up? Yeah, three. No, to different hotels too. She came to the to the um to the Godfrey. She came to the, oh my god, she came to this one hotel, the Beverly Beverly Hills Hotel, and, and embarrassed me, bro. Like, well, that one's pretty iconic. That one's kind of easy to spot out, yeah. even I, without a location. Saying. So, I was taking a picture. It's right. your fault. Don't try to blame it on yeah, Amelia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the one giving yourself up. <laughs> you need to be a little bit more like incognito. You right. Need to, like you need to make you a the big sign hat behind or you? something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that idea. How did she finally like go away? You better the not cops? be outside of this motherfucker. She's place. probably here right now. Yeah, Someone bro. please check. But wait, is, what, is she pretty? You, no, she's cute. She's, she's cute. cute. She got freckles, but it's just Crazy. like. But if it's if not, you, it's not like it ain't like that. No. Wait, 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 there's plenty of no, pretty I'm girls. Just wait, wait, has sex or nothing? Oh, no, well, that's totally fine. No, I'm but... just saying, like, why are you being so crazy? <laughs> <laughs> she is Amelia. You was, you was like... beautiful. I will definitely want to stalk you. <laughs> I mean, I might be no. outside your house. I'm just right. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm like, yeah, though, if she's cute, would you be like, all right, cool, stalk me a little? Because if a cute guy came and stalked me, I'd be like, okay, you know. It's really? cute. But What's if it was like address, ugly. Gra- <laughs> Honey. <laughs> so oh like, hey. maybe, she, maybe Amelia just has like a creepy vibe yeah. or something like maybe. that. There's Not a reason like a, why he's saying he's going to yeah. call the cops on her. I like that you said that she's cute and you didn't say it. Yeah, she's, she's, I like that. I she's respect cute. that. She's cute. She got, she's very cute. She's cute and crazy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, get some help. <laughs> stay, stay in your line, Amelia. Yeah. Just, just get some help. Get your ass at home. Find the Boys and Girls Club. Church. All right, let's talk about Rich Forever Music. What was it like when you signed with Rich the Kid? Oh, my boy Rich. When I signed with Rich, I was like, like, like I said, I'm from Chicago, mm-hmm. so I was like, I was, I was stealing, I was kicking doors to his music. That trap, trap. I was like, I was really like, you know, what I'm saying, hustling. Mm-hmm. And so me, 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 and Rich, it was a blessing. How oh did you guys meet? How did I, how I met Rich? He had a um. He, he DM on Twitter. He said, yo, bro, I need to weed him in Chicago. <laughs> you know? Plug. I say, I bet. I bet. I got you. I met, him, I met him downtown. I never saw no, I never saw, listen, this, this is right now to this day. I never saw a guy that be in his phone 20, 24 hours a day. Like that? Just like that. Damn. One down, pick up the other one. No. One down, pick up. You got three phones. How, three? Why? He's a businessman. Oh, huh. So I, I met plug. him. I met him when business I when, when I went over there to talk to him. He was in his phone. Mm-hmm. I say, "What's up, bro?" You know, I'm from Chicago. You don't know about that. Well, put your phone down, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, bro? Zay? We talked and shit. He had a video shoot. He gave me something. We go chop it up. He's like, "Yo, I'm, I'm booking a flight to LA." He booked me a flight to LA. It's like. It been magic, I think. You know, I, and I always tell people like people like, oh, why you saying a rich kid? Ooh, I say, well, look what Lil Wayne did to Drake. Now look at Drake and Wayne now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who else in the industry do you look up to? I look up to Wiz Khalifa. That's my favorite rapper. That's one of my favorite rappers right there. Why? Have you got a chance to link up with him? Yeah, we got we hear my album. Yeah, we got a, we got a song. He, he's definitely on the album. How is he going to be on this next album as well? Yeah, he's going to be on this next album. Okay. April 6th. How yeah. many tracks are on the album so far? Um, It's 14. Any other features besides Wiz and ASAP? Uh, and I'm guessing maybe Rich? No. No? no. Okay. No. Who else? It's just, just them two. Okay. Yeah. Like, just them two. I like that. And it's going to be real cool. I just want to give these people my all because it's, it's like, it's fire right here. Oh, I'm sorry. In NBA young boy. Okay. There we go. <laughs> free that young boy out of me, you know what I'm saying? Free, young, free my young savage. You know, I love that little brother. What's up? So there's this whole thing going around where Waka Flock is saying we're going to ban Lil Xan from hip hop because he said Tupac's music is boring. See, for once, let me tell you something about that shit. Yeah. That's that what sh- I want to know. Are you that saying? shit, you know, like, I fuck with, I fuck with Lil Xan. You know, I'm a, I'm a man for a minute. I fuck, mm-hmm. I fuck with Lil Xan, you know what I'm saying? And... Uh, I don't know if y'all saw no interviews, and I said I love the the, the OGs. You remember that? Interview? Right. You remember mm-hmm. that interview, Big Bro? I said about the OGs. You gotta respect them. Mm-hmm. You have to. I agree. 
is a must. They came before everyone else. It's they made the way. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. You're supposed to respect that. Like, I'm not one of them guys going to criticize me. Oh, I hate Lizanne for saying that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lose no respect for him saying that because, you know, that's not, he was, wasn't growing up off that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So you can't get married at Lil Xan, but you can. You, everybody going to get married at you by saying, it's Tupac. Music. Yeah. yeah, you could just say I don't. I ain't listen to old school music. Exactly. That's different. Yes. Yeah. But but Biggie and Pop, man, that's just like that's you that's like going against it. the throne. Like don't don't play right there. So, like I said, I don't have nothing against Lizanne. I fuck mm-hmm. with you. You know, you know, good luck on your success and all that. But you got really people really mad behind that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, for right reasons too. Yeah, for, like really for right reasons. Like like if they answered it how you answered it right now, it would have never been a problem. They would have been like, "Yo, we respect that." Right. And it's they said, respectful. And you said it, I listen. Like to be honest, y'all, I promise you, I didn't watch. I'm so much into Dex World, mm-hmm. and I'm not into that bullshit no more. I didn't even watch the interview. Mm-hmm. I just saw it down. I tell him saying that it he was everywhere. Like right. And and him Walker Flocker saying he banned from hip hop. I mean, it was just like it was. It was just stupid. No, but, you're right. Like there was just a different way to say it. Yeah, like it was, I don't listen to it. It's not my style. I didn't grow up on it, but I respect it. Cause it's a whole new wave right now. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a whole new wave. It's a whole new generation. But you should know he shouldn't should never say it like that. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Pac, you're a legend. You're gonna always remember. And you started this shit. Thank you for that. That's, that's what, dope. That's what it is. Do you feel that there's like this whole like two different worlds of this new generation of hip hop versus like old generation yeah, of hip hop going on. Of course. Do you feel that some people possibly don't even give you an opportunity because you are part of that new wave of hip hop? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, that too. That too. I mean, I did create a I, I created a lot of a lot of shit of the new wave. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, it's just getting started. It ain't even over with yet. Like you know, I've been rapping for like two years, so you know I, I always just, I think a lot, and I always just think about the right reasons because it's timing. Timing mm-hmm. is everything. You remember my my, my boys, Migos, came out with, with Versace, Versace, right. Hannah mm-hmm. Montana. It was hot. Right. It blowed up. Mm-hmm. And I know what? It was like, don't, 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 don't. Bad and bougie. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Then culture. Culture too. And they're just going at it. It's gone. Mm-hmm. So it's about timing, you know? It's, everything is about time. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? Ten years from now, um, real estate, owning a lot of stuff. Just kids getting bigger, happy, and having fun, being back here talking some stuff to y'all a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You had mentioned wanting to get into acting. What are some of your like favorite movies or TV shows? Like, what do you watch? Um, I I watch. A lot. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I watch a lot of sports. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your team then? Um, right now I'm going with Kansas. That's my favorite. You know, it's March Madness. Yes, right it now. is. Mm-hmm. Have and you filled out your bracket? I ain't filled out my bracket okay. yet. Well, I got Should a blank Natalia one. to help you. I got a She's blank really one. Too, girl. You want She's on top of right it. Here if you want one. <laughs> I'm about to, I haven't filled mine out yet, but I got that. Oh, have you seen the this Kanye? though? Have you seen the Kanye bracket one? This one that breaks down all of Kanye's, like trying to find <laughs> Kanye's best song. When and, is this? Well, this one's, okay, so that one's a March Madness one. Okay. And then that one is the Kanye Madness one that they just started. And you can definitely fill out both of those and we can see what your answers would be. It would take a while, though. I know the Kanye one would take a long time. <laughs> so it has like every single, pretty much every single one of his songs. And then people are, are right now trying to break down his best song. That's such a dope bracket right there. Complicated one. Do you think you That's could come down to Kanye's best song? Do you have a favorite Kanye song? You wouldn't be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, feel free to take those with you if you want those are to. For you. No, I'm taking one. Okay, but you said Kansas is your team. Yeah, Kansas is my team. I love Kansas a lot. They going crazy. And what about uh, when it comes to NBA? LeBron. 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 Cavs. Yeah. I love LeBron. The king, baby. <laughs> There's a lot of talks about him moving away out of uh, Cleveland. How do you feel about that? A lie. <laughs> you don't think he's gonna do it? Hell no. But what if he does? Are yeah. you gonna burn his jersey? That's, on, that's why he's not going to go nowhere because they he tells people burning his jersey. I don't know. He has a house in L.A. There's a lot of talks about him coming to L.A. I mean, he got money. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what true. you do when you got, got money. money that's man. True. He, t- he just 
you know, one thing about LeBron, you know, he's gonna keep his name alive. I love him. He ain't one. He he's not leaving Cleveland. He's not leaving Cleveland. He's not. I mean, if he do come to LA, you'll still be a fan. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to catch you on Rodeo somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You're a real fan. You know what I'm saying? All right. So some people took your chain, and I saw this video yeah. of you like cracking up at the video of the people. That's fake. That was fake. Yeah, fake. So have you <laughs> have you talked to those people that yeah, took no. it? To be honest, ain't nobody snatching my chain. Let me get let me get this cleared out, y'all. Okay, okay. Let me well, clear this situation. <laughs> now y'all know it's 2018, right? If if you at a club anywhere, Papa Rocks is gonna be there mm -hmm. on your ass, mm -hmm. and they're gonna see you get your chain snatched. Oh come on, my chain got fucking. It, I had my Dexter piece is so big, like I only wear my own chains to my shows, and my clothes, and my security. Everybody know that. I'll make a long story short. My chain, my my Dexter charm is so 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 heavy, and my teeth was coming off, mm -hmm. and I had my Louis Vuitton shirt on. What the bam? And then and it must have. It was so much commotion going on. I never. I don't, I don't do the clubs. Don't do the clubs. My chain fell. I'm like, what the fuck? When he get on the elevator, I'm like, my chain fell. Open the elevator. It was some whole other bullshit. So I'm waiting for the next day to see who got the chain. I'm a, I'm a street I'm a street guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I can take a loss. You know, I got I got plenty. I got plenty of money, man. Whatever. What you want for the other chain? Keep the chain. I want my charm. I don't want the chain. Mm. But yeah, it was just a whole bunch of confusion about that shit. You know, a, le a lesson is a blessing to me. You know. Right. Mm. That's but true. did they contact you and they were saying yeah, they were they, asking for money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, and you're like, nah. Keep it. Mm -hmm. Keep it. I don't want it. Wow. And it went down, down, and down, and down, and down, and down. So they go get miserable and then they kill itself with it. So I don't want it. I don't keep the chain. <laughs> it ain't nothing. It ain't make me or break me. Yeah. Told them. I'm glad you cleared that up. I'm so happy that you came in. No, I'm yeah. so happy it's to be here. It's such a pleasure thank to meet you. you. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. No, for real. Aw, thank you. Again, uh, Japan dropping this week. And then make sure the album, April 6th. I'm sort of holding you to April 6th, but I won't be mad mm -hmm. if something no. happens. April 6th is definitely just going to drop. April 6th. You said and it. And y'all the first, first station to heard. All right. Yes. We got it first. There it is, yep. right there. Again, thank you so much, Famous Sex. Big boys Big neighborhood. Boy. Big boy.